There's certain skills or certain traits that you have to have. You need to be self-motivated, certainly, because otherwise you're not going to get out of bed. And it, it, when you are working from home or starting a business uh, and you've had to be up at whatever time to get into the office for nine o'clock, it's so easy to think, well, I can have another two hours in bed because I don't need to commute. I'm working downstairs and I can start at 10, and, but I'll feed the cat first and do this that, and the other. Mm -hmm. So self-motivation, get out of bed, get on with it. Um, seven o'clock in the morning, whatever time suits, if you're speaking to customers and those customers are, are generally around in the evenings, work in the evenings and, and you have to work when your customers need you. Communication skills uh, are, are vital. You need to be able to talk to these people, understand, have a certain amount of empathy with them. If they're using your products or wanting to use your services, you have to be, be there. You have to be able to communicate. If you're going to ring somebody back, ring them back. Uh, if you've got an email and they need an answer to it, answer it. I think it's vitally important that if, if you do get an email uh, and even just to acknowledge the email and say it's going to be three days, four days before I can get back to you because otherwise they, they might go somewhere else. But if you say, yeah, it, it's going to take me a little while but I will get back to you, then that's, um, that's important. Well, as I say, you have to have a passion for what you're going to be doing, uh, whether that's a skill. I think it's, uh, it's something that uh, is, is vital. You have to be able to talk passionately about it because if you don't and you're talking to somebody, they will, they will see it. It's like, oh, it's another mundane job. Uh, uh, so so that, that's important. Listening is a huge skill, and I've come across a lot of salespeople in my time that don't have that skill. They talk, 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 and they don't actually know what the customer really wants. And sometimes they fall lucky because they happen to have the product that they want. But listen, uh, take information on, and then you're able to, to come back to, to that customer or that particular situation with all the uh, information that you've already taken so you can make sure your presentation or your conversation is then uh, has been sort of filtered around that, that initial uh, talk that you've listened to. Again, it's a more of a personal trait, but you have to be a, you have to be a nice person. You, you, you can't go in there thinking, I'm God's gift, I'm going to take over the world, because if you do, you'll come against somebody else who's got the same opinion and you're going to, to, <laughs> to have, have problems. The other thing is, don't take it personally as well. Uh, it happens. Somebody m might love your product and then you rig them back and you find out that they've bought it off your rivals. It's not personal. You, you would hope that when they've bought the other product, it's not good enough and they'll come back to you, so there's no point burning your bridges. Uh, uh, and it is important to be yourself, be a nice person, uh, be trustworthy, because uh, again, that's something that disappears a lot within corporate businesses. There's no trust. But when you're a solopreneur and you are relying on, whether it's somebody that might be spending £100 with you every 10 years or somebody who's spending £10,000 with you every month, you need to make sure you look after them. Because the person that's spending £100 every 10 years might actually tell somebody else that, that you're brilliant and they come in and spend £20,000 a month with you. The person spending £10,000 a month with you you might over concentrate on them and then when they disappear off you, 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 you've got to make sure that you, you have the other things that are around you so that's vitally important. Whether somebody comes in and they're wearing scruffy clothes you don't know they may have been renovating their 40 bedroom mansion and that's why they're in scruffy clothes or somebody might come in and they're in the the smartest sharpest suit that you've ever seen they might be wearing it because uh, a friend's given it to them because they're trying to find a job. Uh, so anybody who comes in, don't take it up face value. And this is where listening is important. Ask the questions, listen, take on board what they're saying, and then uh, develop your conversation with them accordingly. <laughs>